have to use the left and upper functions. And what I have here is a fictional address list. Maybe this is something I exported from a database. But as you can see, um, part of it is in caps right here, and part of it isn't. Now, let's say I want to use this in uh, in a mailer, in um, you know, import it into Word to print out labels. Well, it looks kind of funny because you've got part of it in sentence case and part of it in in caps and so it just doesn't look very nice and then another issue is some of the zip codes have the additional four some don't and let's just say for this example we don't want the four um, although apparently it, it does help out the postal service so we should probably use those when uh, whenever possible but uh, in this example we don't want to so the first thing I'm going to do is I could just click in here and I can delete the four, but say I've got 3,000 addresses. I'm not going to do that for, for all of them. That's just a waste of time, especially when I can fix it with a quick formula. So I'm just going to start right here. I'm going to click in the cell next to the first one that has the additional four. I'm going to click on my function button right here. It should be right next to the address bar. And just to let you know, I'm working in Microsoft Excel 2010. Uh, should be similar in with whatever version you're using. So I'm going to click here to insert a function, and I'm going to type left, and then hit enter, and it brings up everything that may be similar to what I want to do. Um, but there's left, the very first option, returns the, spe the specified number of characters from the start of string text. Now what does that mean? It means that I only want the first five numbers to show up. I don't care about what's after that. And so I'm just going to hit OK and it's going to bring up my little wizard here. So so first I want to know what text do I want to limit. So I'm going to click on this little box here and then I'm going to click right here and I'm going to press enter. So that's, that's the first one I wanted to work on. And oh so there's so now I'm going to click, oh, it's the first, sorry, it's the first digit. Um, if you don't enter anything here, it assumes that you just want one, the, the first um, character in the string. But we want five, because there's five digits in the zip code. So as you can see down here, there's the five numbers there. So I'm just going to click on OK. Now, Again, if I have 3,000 addresses, I don't want to have to do this for every single address. So I'm just going to, you see uh, my cursor here, it's the, the big white plus sign. I'm going to move it to the corner of this box here until it turns to that skinny black plus sign. I'm just going to left click, hold that down, and then drag it down. You see, you can see how it's dragging the formula by the, um, the dotted line. And then I'm just going to let go, and there we go. Now, I don't want to leave it like this. Um, I want to just replace this text over here with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to Copy. I'm going to highlight where I want to paste it. And then I'm going to click on Paste Values. And then hit Escape. And I'm just going to delete this. And this is just a little note saying, hey, um, the number is stored as text. That's fine. Convert to number. All of these are numbers. So we'll just ignore that. Yeah. So whatever. We'll just ignore that for now. Um, so now, I don't like that part of the address is in sentence case and part is in all caps. I think I just want everything in caps. Let's just let's just do it that way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let's see, so we have we have six columns here. And so I'm gonna add one more column just so there's a little space here. So I'm gonna start here, because I don't like my data right next to each other. You can do whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna copy this header. Function again, and I'm 
and I'm going to type upper. Now if you're not sure what function you want to use, just type something that you want to do. Um, maybe I'll type uppercase. And there we go. And it shows all the related functions that you can use that might be related to what you're trying to do. I know that I want to do upper, so I'm just going to click on OK. Text. So uh, you can click here, you can just click in the first box, so I want to go as far to the left, and I'm just going to click right there. And you can see that's what it currently is, and that's what it will be. It will be in all caps. So I'm just going to hit OK. Now, the awesome thing is that's the only time I have to enter the formula. I can just see uh, it's in the, um, my cursor is in the, the large white plus sign. I'm going to go to the corner where it turns into the left, left click, hold, and I'm just going to drag over the zip. Oh, no, I'm going to drag down. There we go. I'm going to double click right here between the lines, and it expands to fit um, data. So, now that that's all done, I want to do the rest. So I'm going to go to this corner, and I'm going to left click on it, and I'm going to just drag it all the way across. And as you can see, all done. Now, as you can see, when I click it here, it's not actual data. It's the formula, as you can see up here. This is data. This is the formula. Well, if I copy and paste it somewhere, or if I want to export it somewhere, it's not it's not going to say um, it, it, what you see right here is not what's going to translate. The formula is going to translate, and it's going to make a mess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just highlight this this column here. I'm going to highlight all of these columns. I'm going to copy. I'm just going to highlight this one because it knows that I I'm going to paste over whatever however many columns that is. So then I'm going to go paste values. There we go. And you can see here, they match. There's no longer a formula. So now I'm just going to delete this. And I have all my data in all caps. I hope this tutorial helps you, and I look forward to helping you in the future. Enjoy!